Discover the exquisite beauty of Islam with our exclusive poster collection showcasing the 99 names of Allah. Each poster meticulously presents the Arabic name, pronunciation and English translation, embodying the essence of our Creator. Elevate your surroundings with these high-quality designs that not only serve as art, but also offer a glimpse into the profound beauty of Islamic culture. Immerse yourself in the collection and unveil the magnificence of the 99 names. Links in the description box. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, the leftist mainstream media in Germany are losing their minds over the so-called caliphate demonstrations. So apparently over the past two weeks you had many Muslims gathering in Hamburg, Germany and they were demonstrating, demanding a caliphate in Germany. Such statements apparently are illegal in Germany and therefore they got classified as extremists, as terrorists and what not. And therefore the police is monitoring all of the participants of the demonstration very, very closely now. And moreover, as I said, the leftist mainstream media is of course trying their best to portray those Muslims as absolute radicals that want to take over Germany. For people that don't know, I grew up in Germany and I reverted to Islam. I was born in a Christian family. The following clips that I'm going to play you will be in German and hence I'm going to do the translation for you. But before we start that, guys, as always, if you enjoy my content, leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and check out the links in the description box below to further support my work. And now, with no further ado, let's have a look. All right, we're going to start with the Bild Zeitung. For people from Germany, they know this is very serious journalism over here. Sarcasm, guys. This is the absolute bottom of the barrel, of course. Let's have a look. Mehr als 2000 radikale Islamisten versammeln sich erneut in Hamburg, um ein Kalifat zu fordern. Okay, he says right away, more than 2000 radical Islamists are gathering in Hamburg, Germany. So apparently everybody in the demonstration must be a radical Islamist. And that then concludes, of course, that you have at least 2000 radical Muslims living in Hamburg. Einen Gottesstaat, in dem Freiheit, Recht und Gesetz nichts gelten. Okay. It's quite amazing how the propaganda machine works because ultimately 99.9% .9 of Germans do not know what a caliphate is. They have absolutely no understanding of it. They simply hear those terms, as he just mentioned. Gottesstaat. Gottesstaat means a God state. And of course, there is no such terminology in Islam. But anyways, he says those people there, those radicals, they want a God state where you have no freedom and no law whatsoever. And of course, then you have counter demonstrations of people demonstrating against the caliphate or rather the delusion of the caliphate that they hold in their minds. Because, let's be honest here, even if it was true, those are 2,000 radical Muslims. Do you really believe that 2,000 radical Muslims can call out a caliphate in Germany? It's absolutely impossible, first and foremost. But secondly, what is the caliphate? The caliphate would be an Islamic state, not a God state. It would be a state that implies religious law. It would be a theocracy. This is something that you had in Europe as well before secularism. Ultimately, the idea of the caliphate is very beautiful because it transcends nationality. It should be a state for all the believing men and women. It does not matter if you're black, white, Asian or whatnot. Every Muslim is invited to live in the caliphate. And it doesn't have to be in Germany. It can be anywhere else. Yes, it can be in a Muslim country as well. But ultimately, the concept of the Khilafah would be to invite all the Muslims of the world to live together in peace. It is absolutely amazing. And if you look into such concepts that should supposedly unite people, such as the United States of America or the European Union, you see a similar approach, of course, to what the caliphate is. You see people, no matter which nationality, ethnicity, coming together with an ideal. In your case, that would be democracy and secularism. So people in the EU, they're subscribing to those ideas, to liberalism, secularism, and of course, atheism, scientism, to an extent. 
In the caliphate, on the other hand, it is the opposite. There you have people getting together that believe in God and want to worship God alone, no matter which race, no matter which ethnicity, nationality they are. This would be the caliphate. Okay, and there the radical Muslim speaker is simply saying, Oh God, he's praying, Oh God, please unite the Islamic world, the Muslims of the Islamic world, please unite them in a righteous caliphate where they are not oppressed by the colonial powers. That's it. Anders als bei der ersten Demonstration vor zwei Wochen sind dieses Mal keine Transparente mit islamistischen Symbolen zu sehen. Wohl aufgrund strenger Auflagen von Stadt und Polizei. This time they were not allowed to demonstrate with banners, with Islamic banners, whatever that entails, whatever that means. Probably the restrictions were very, very vague. And therefore they're holding up banners that say banned or censored. In the previous demonstrations, the banners were advocating for a caliphate and apparently in Germany that is illegal because it would call to overthrow the regime of Germany. Strenge Auflagen von Stadt und Polizei. Etwa 150 Gegendemonstranten protestieren gegen den Islamistenaufmarsch. Okay, so, uh, yeah, now I have to be very careful here on this platform, of course. In the background, you can see a counter demonstration holding up flags of Israel, of MT. And here's an elderly couple holding up a sign that says Hamburg, the city, says no to extremism in every color. And this is what is so fascinating when leftists get together, form a counter movement, a counter demonstration. They're getting together and it's all meaningless. It is so extremely vague. What does this mean? It has absolutely no purpose whatsoever. It could mean anything. The sign says, Hamburg says no to extremism in every color. Okay, so how about the flag in the background? What does that stand for? Is that not extremism in every color, as the sign here in front proclaims? Because this flag is not only an identification, of course not. It is a political symbol by now. And this political symbol is introduced into churches and into schools, into kindergartens even. Everybody must bow to this ideology, otherwise you are the extremist. Of course, if you don't buy into that agenda, you are the extremist. And this ultimately, in a nutshell, is of course extremism in every color. Wie ähm, gefährlich ist denn gerade diese Szene, die jetzt das Kalifat ausrufen will? Ähm, ist das nur eine Randerscheinung oder ist das schon eine äh, veritable Gefahr? Das ist so the question now is, how dangerous is this Islamic movement? How dangerous is it? Is it just some sort of niche movement or is it really serious? Das ist eine veritable Gefahr. Das ist leider keine Randerscheinung, sondern wir haben viele sehr militante Vereine. Wir haben zum Beispiel die Jürich. Wir haben radikale der DTIP. Wir haben die verbotene Hisb-Ut-Achir. Wir haben die Muslimen, die aktiv und so weiter. Wir haben die Brüder und so weiter. Also es gibt unglaublich viele Gruppen. Die radikal sind, die häufig halbwegs im Untergrund äh, agieren. She says there are many radical groups in the underground. Aber die hier mitten in der Gesellschaft sind. Das ich bin. But they're in the middle of society. Erschrocken und traurig. He says he's shocked and sad. Weil das ist. Es geht hier um unser Grundgesetz, um unsere Freiheit. <lacht> Okay, so he says he's shocked and sad because this is about our constitution, about our rights in our society, and then he's holding up an Israel flag. This is how loaded those symbols are in this day and age, because just imagine the guy talking about our constitution, our German constitution, and then holding up an American flag, or a Nigerian flag, or a Japanese flag, or what not. You would, of course, find that scene very, very strange. But because the populace has been so brainwashed, now all of a sudden our ideal, our law set has something to do with a foreign country. This is of course absolutely ridiculous. Sachen alles Mögliche, keiner kümmert sich drum. Ich bin schockiert. Ich nehme den 
Okay, so he just said absolutely nothing. Basically, he says that nobody's taking care of anything here. And I'm just absolutely shocked, which is, of course, ridiculous because you have police left and right. And then you have the media, of course, portraying this here in a bad light. Antisemitismus is very ernst, because in the last days and weeks, there against Jews and Juden in Germany. Okay, she says she's taking antisemitism very seriously. And also against people who are with Israel solidarisch gewesen sind and immer noch sind. Deswegen sind wir unter anderem auch heute hier. Okay, and now they're talking about being pro-Israel again, etc., etc. What does that have to do with Islam? Do you have to be an anti-Semite if you are a Muslim? Newsflash, if you look into Palestine, if you look into the population, Palestinians and Israelis are all Semites. Für jüdische Menschen ist das unfassbar gefährlich, For äh, weil sie das ja auch schon äh, wiederholt erlebt haben, dass sie gejagt werden, dass sie in die Städte gejagt werden, dass sie sich mit ihren Zeichen nicht zeigen streets. können, äh, dass sie an Unis angegriffen werden, Krankenhaus halb geprügelt werden. And they get beat up until they end up in the hospital. So this is the claim of the lady. Let's say this is true. That would be of course horrific. We are not condoning anything like that. However, we have to shed a light onto the violence that Israel is committing in the Palestinian lands. On a daily basis, people are being killed, children are being killed. We're not talking about a person being beat up. Both are wrong. Two wrongs don't make one right. However, we have to look into the scale of the atrocities that Israel is committing. We cannot close our eyes. And therefore, if you have people speaking out against those atrocities that a government is committing, this is a political issue that has to be addressed. You cannot just scream anti-Semitism. Okay, now we're going to check out Weltnachrichtensender. This is another clip about the demonstration. Es ist eine Herkulesaufgabe für die Sicherheitsbehörden. Die Islamisten der Gruppe Muslim Interaktiv protestieren am Samstag erneut in Hamburg. Diesmal schaut die Polizei deutlich wachsamer hin. Den Teilnehmern ist untersagt worden, ein Kalifat in Deutschland zu fordern. <lacht> okay, so this is the second demonstration apparently and it is some sort of Herculean task the journalist says. Many people got together and the police has to take care of those bad, bad, evil Muslims. Mit dem Schrift zu Kalifat ist die Lösung gibt es nicht. Anheizer Rahim Boateng verlangt auf der Bühne zwar erneut einen Gottesstaat, allerdings außerhalb der Bundesrepublik. Okay, so it has been absolutely banned to ask for a caliphate in Germany and therefore they cannot hold up the signs that are asking for the caliphate in Germany. However, Rahim Boateng is his name here, apparently asked for a caliphate not in Germany but in the world. So as we just saw in the previous clip, he was just praying for a caliphate. And guess what? As Muslims that believe in the revelations of God and the laws of God, of course we want to live by the laws of God. That is that. And then you have many right-wingers in Germany just screaming, yeah, well, then go to the caliphate. Why don't you go to a Muslim country? Matter of fact is, right now, there is no caliphate. The last caliphate ended with the Ottoman Turks. And this is by now over 100 years ago. Since then, there has been no unified body of the Muslim community of the world. So ultimately, the Muslims of the world, of course, want to live together in such a caliphate. And this is what this man is praying for. Yeah, I know. When you formulate it like that, it's not very sensational, is it? Vereine die Menschen in einem Kalifat, auf das wieder Frieden und Gerechtigkeit im Nahen Osten und der islamischen Welt einkehrt und dein Wort zum Höchsten gemacht wird. Yeah, when you actually translate those words, they're not very extreme at all. Because all he's saying is, oh God, please unite the Muslim body into a caliphate so peace, freedom will return again to the Middle East. And your word, or oh God, your law, will be the highest law. But of course, all the Germans are afraid of Ya Allah. Just replace it with Jesus, right? Just think about it. Oh, dear Jesus, please unite all the Christians. Please bring back freedom and peace in the Middle East. Oh, Lord, your word shall be the highest. Right, if you phrase it like that, it's not so scary anymore. Ya Allah, they don't get it. Yeah, and here he just said, Oh God, please expose those that are giving false testimony against the Muslims and that are conspiring against the Muslims. That's all. Die Islamisten fühlen sich vom Rechtsstaat ungerecht behandelt und ihrer Meinungsfreiheit beraubt, versuchen sich an einer PR-Aktion. 
was man jetzt sieht. So ultimately he says that the Muslims, no actually I have to correct myself, he said the Islamists, they feel mistreated by the German government and they feel that their freedom of speech is impaired by the German government. Das ist eine klare Reaktion auf die Politik, eine klare Reaktion auf das Verbot, das Kalifat zu fordern. Wenn man einmal schaut, die Demonstranten haben nun Schilder hochgehoben, wo verboten und censored steht. Okay, so now he just says that this is a clear reaction to the politics that are put into place because as we said already a couple of times they were not allowed to demonstrate for the caliphate in Germany and therefore they're holding up signs that say censored and banned. Da fällt auf, wenn man einmal in die Menge blickt, man kann hier überall hinschauen, Frauen sind hier gar nicht mehr anwesend. Oh, ach nein. Diebe. So he says, but you look left and right and you cannot see any woman. <laughs> so point of the story is this demonstration was actually absolutely peaceful. <laughs> There was no violent interaction whatsoever. The police had nothing to do that given day. Everybody was obeying the laws. They didn't even have banners with them. Just think about that. Every other demonstration can hold up whatever they want, but the Muslims even obeyed that, and now they cannot find any flaw with their demonstration, so therefore, what do they say? Hmm, hmm there must be something wrong. Yeah, well, guys, there are no women. Women have to be there. They have to demonstrate now as well. That would be a good demonstration. <laughs> Mit dem Ergebnis, dass wow. fast überhaupt keine Frauen mehr zu sehen sind, wow. am Rand der Demo bleiben. Okay, so the politicians or whoever in charge told them, if they're gonna have another demonstration, they're not allowed to divide genders. Just think about that, right? They're not allowed to divide genders. They have to mix. This is the law in Germany. And therefore the Muslims said, okay, if this is your law, we have to mix here, then we're just gonna come as men. That's pretty much what it is. I mean, think about it logically, right? If you want to go to a sauna, for example, and in a sauna, usually you're naked or you are with a towel. And then they tell you, listen, in this sauna, we're all mixing. And you really do not want that. Maybe you're a married man. You don't want to mix with other women that you do not know. What would you do in such a case? Of course, you would either get together only with men, so the whole sauna is full and no woman can enter anymore, or you simply wouldn't participate in that sauna. You wouldn't go there any longer. This is their freedom of choice, man. This is their freedom. If they don't want to mix with women that they don't know, Why would they? But it is imposed upon them. And then you're wondering why they're demonstrating. Immer wieder Passanten und Gegendemonstranten <laughs> stehen. Viele haben eine klare Meinung. Wow. Das so this woman was holding up a sign that says freedom instead of caliphate. So yet again, this is just a testament to how brainwashed people are. You do not understand what a caliphate is, nor do you understand what freedom means. Das ist ja der Islamismus. Das zeigt ihn ja. Das zeigt ja dieses perfide, dass Frauen überhaupt keine Rechte haben. Das ist deren Freiheit beschnitten wird. Deshalb ist es so. Okay, so she says, this is Islamism. This is really what Islam is about, where women have no freedom. Because women are not at that given demonstration, women have no freedom. This is absolutely ridiculous, of course. If you look into high-risk jobs, for example, those jobs are done 99.9% .9 of the time by men. Are high-risk jobs evil now? Is this some sort of sexism? What is it? Man, if those guys want to demonstrate themselves, why don't you let them do it? That we are as women for freedom here stand. Mich yeah, so she just said again, we as women, we really have to stand up for our freedoms. So ein bisschen stört okay. noch zusätzlich an der ganzen Geschichte ist, dass man halt kaum Gegenstimmen hört aus der muslimischen Community. Okay, and this guy is complaining about that he doesn't see any other moderate Muslims complaining about what those extremist Muslims do. Wenn die okay. öfter auftreten, wird die AfD weiter Zulauf kriegen, fürchte ich. Okay. Die. All right, so this leftist just said that if those Muslims show themselves as often as the AfD, which is a right-wing party, then he's pretty sure that they will get more followers. And that is, of course, very dangerous. So right-wing is dangerous, Islam is dangerous, only leftism is not dangerous, so benevolent and the right way to go. Die Demo-Teilnehmer dagegen verschlossen reden nicht mit der Presse. Am Ende okay, so he says that the Muslims were not talking to the mainstream media. Now go figure, why is that? I don't know. Es Protest zeigt sich die Polizei zufrieden, die harten Auflagen hätten Wirkung gezeigt. Ein größerer Eklat, okay. an diesem Wochenende bleibt wow. er aus. Okay, so ultimately he says that the police had no work whatsoever, there was no violence, everything was peaceful.
All right, this is it for today's video. I'm going to cut it off here. It is way too long as is. There are a few things that I would like to say, but of course, I have to censor and ban myself as well here on this platform. So therefore, I'm not really able to share my real thought process with you. But ultimately, it all boils down to buzzwords, of course. Islamism, terrorism, extremism, and whatnot. It is all ism, 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 not looking into leftism, not looking into liberalism, of course, because that is the default state. That is exactly how it should be. Ultimately, this is about knowledge, this is about information, and people simply do not understand what the caliphate is, what the caliphate was, what the caliphate could be in this day and age. As I said, the caliphate is a state, an Islamic state, a theocracy, where the Muslims of all nations get together and live peacefully. Moreover, it has all kinds of perks as well, because as a Muslim, you have to pay zakat only, that is charity, you don't have to pay taxes, and that is only 2.5%. That sounds pretty attractive, don't you think? And even as a Christian living in that land, you have to pay the jizya, and people are so scared of it, oh, I'm not going to pay the jizya to Muslims. No, I'm rather going to pay 40 to 50% taxes to politicians. Okay, that is up to you. That is your choice. We as Muslims, we would rather live under the laws of God. All right, guys, but this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and check out the links in the description box below to further support my work. And as always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace. <laughs> Oh